Alrighty guys, these stories don't get any easier for me. So I'm holding back the tears with this one. It just gets to a point where it hits you. But if you've been following me, you know that every time I say this is gonna be rough, it's gonna be graphic, is because it is. So disclaimer, warning, viewer discretion is advised. This is a story of Kelsey Briggs. Kelsey was born on December 28, 2002 and passed on October 11, 2005. She lived in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Her parents are Lance Briggs and Ray Don Smith. Her parents were divorced and she lived with her mother and maintained contact with her paternal family. The first two years of her life were uneventful. Before January 2005, no sign of abuse were reported to authorities, nor noticed by the family members or Kelsey daycare staff. It was stated that Lance did not appear to want much to do with Kelsey other than the standard every other weekend type visitation. Lance did not want custody or show up for the hearing. He told others that he wanted to move on with his life. He was hoping that the baby didn't turn out to be his. His parents went to court asking for visitation rights for the grandparents. An arrangement made with the court are that Ray Dawn and Lance's mother, Kathy Briggs, would meet at the court's designated place, a gas station to exchange Kelsey. When Ray Dawn was pregnant in 2000, Lance punched her in the abdomen repeatedly, causing her to miscarry. There were many incidents that required calling the police during their marriage. Police advised Ray on several occasions to get a protective order. Ray filed charges on one visit by police. The court ordered Lance to go to anger management classes. According to public work records, Lance got upset because his McDonald meal was not supersized and he threw Dawn against the wall and choked her with his arm in May 2002. The first two years of Kelsey's life were uneventful. Before January 2005, no sign of abuse were reported to authorities nor noticed by the family members or Kelsey's daycare staff. From January 2005 to the end of her life, Kelsey had suffered several documented and confirmed incidences of child abuse. Her injuries included a broken collarbone, broken legs, and multiple bruises, abrasions on her face and body. On January 9, 2005, Kathy finds a number of all different color bruises on her face, arms, and legs. On January 10, 2005, Kelsey went to the ER with a broken collarbone. The medical team also found bruises on her butt, back, and thighs. Ray explained that the injuries were due to the fact that Kelsey fell from her crib. Kelsey was sent home back with her mother. On January 14, 2005, Lance and his wife took Kelsey to the ER with the side of her face and butt heavily bruised. January 24, 2005, the judge awarded custody of Kelsey to her paternal grandmother, Kathy Briggs. Ray was given an order to take classes for parenting and anger management as well as alcohol management. OKDHS OK filled official charges and began closely observing Ray and Kelsey for child abuse. Follow me for part two of the Kelsey Briggs story.